Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome, like, this might be your first video. I feel a bit too close to the camera, right? Uh, <laughs> so today I'm going to be customizing some low red, gem red ones, reverse, something like that. This is the picture of it. Like, hopefully my ring light's not bothering it. But yeah, I'm going to be customizing these. I got a picture of a of the mock-up that I drew, something like this. So I just drew one foot because I'm going to improvise the rest. So yeah, I'm going to be customizing these for somebody very special. And let's see how they turn out, you know. I think I really have good confidence in it. And I'm going to talk y'all through the steps as I go. So if you like it, just leave a like. Really appreciate it. If my content is, like, good, just give me a subscribe. Like, you know, if you don't like it, leave a review in the comments so I can know. I like feedback. So thank you. All right. So this is my radio voice. The first thing I did was acetone it with cotton pads. This just removes the factory layer and makes my paint adhere to the surface better. I went ahead and sprayed a light gray with white for my base coat. This is just to prevent me from spraying directly on the red. If you watch the end, there's a sneak peek of my next custom. Now I'm adding mint. This is the main color besides the pink and yellow. So if you are enjoying this video, don't forget, you can always give me a follow on Instagram or TikTok at QPaintsalot. Then I added my gift box blue with Angelus's gift box blue. These are all Angelus brand paints, you know, Angelus Direct. You can check them out. Uh, you can see me doing a little bit of blending right here on this panel because I slowly blended it in layers, which makes it way smoother to me, not just one big blend. After this, I added the stars from the SpongeBob Sky. I don't know what you really call it, but yeah, I added those. <laughs> I proceeded to peel this panel to put SpongeBob's face on it. You know, uh, I taped it initially because I didn't want to spray it. Then added yellow and white for the eyes. Now I did do the details for the eyes off camera. At this point, I regret not recording it, but my back was hurting me, so I had to take a little break from recording. I did the same thing for the other side of the Patrick, but I decided I was gonna get a few angles for that, so here it goes. So I did match this color myself with some of my Angelus paints, but they have a wide variety, so it was kind of easy, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, it took me like three to four thin layers to get it right and you're gonna see what it looks like in a minute so watch this boom then i drew the eyes with my hand went in and did some whites on it you can see the eyebrows lined out and everything so you know i was not playing i didn't record another part but i did two customs earlier that day so my back was kind of hurting me but i regret not recording this part especially because the eyes turned out so pretty you can't tell me you don't love those eyes honestly and there was a little smudge right there. I removed it with my Q-tip. I then went ahead and drew Patrick's smile. Drew the design to overlap on the midsole. I did add color to the mouth. I didn't really like how it turned out. I thought it would look better, honestly. And I can accept my mistake there. If I was to do it again, I would change that part. But otherwise, it was pretty cool. I should have just drawn like a mock-up before because that would have definitely helped. Enjoy me singing to the next clip. Ba -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, man, that was fast. But here, I used my pencil to go in and draw the outlines for the teeth. Then I was going to paint black over it after. You're going to see black in a second, so I'm going to keep singing. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, man, their black goes. Black outlines are always pretty cool. I like them. And I think they can just really like help a design like so much, honestly. like I've had designs that didn't look that good till I added my outlines, and I was really astonished. Leave a like if you're watching. Subscribe if you're enjoying. Thank you. Okay, so here I decided I was going to just put another Spongebob face. So I laid down a base coat of white because I didn't want to paint directly on black with yellow because I didn't think that would work. But even after putting this one coat of like white, I went in with my yellow and I did like three to four coats and it was still giving me streaks at the like second coat, which usually doesn't happen. But I guess yellow is a weaker color, so I didn't really, it was my fault. But eventually I got it down and... In between making this, I went back and checked the side and I noticed that I hadn't outlined one part. So I went back and did that as well. Always good to double check your work. Then I uh, handmade a stencil. I don't know why, even though I have a stencil cutter. Cut the sections I needed, painted those, peeled back that stencil. Now it needs outline. It's not too bad, honestly, for something I drew while it was taped to my iPad. 
but I did the same thing for the Patrick shoe, just cut out the sections that I would start with, which were the black parts of my design. So I noticed that the shade underneath was initially black, so I just went in with my Q-tip and acetone, and I uh, took those off just to like reduce the number of layers in total. It didn't take much. I just rubbed it off real fast. Da 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 da. da. When I popped up, and you go gave me just a little bit. Then I did two light layers of black, just to cover up those pink and white spots underneath. Da 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 da. Alright, let me stop saying it. I don't know why I keep saying it. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm just saying something else. So. And I just slowly cut like these out because I was going to paint these sections in white for the eyes. Now you do want to be careful not to cut the leather. So cut really slight, like don't put too much pressure on it. If you are enjoying this video, you can leave a like, subscribe, comment, just say yes. Matter of fact, comment butterscotch if you got this far. That's a random word, butterscotch. <laughs> and then, you know, I added white to the eyes after a few more layers of that. I did the mouth and did a little peeling. You can see that right there. Now it does look a little naked, but it just needs some outlines, honestly. Now I did go in and add the dots from Patrick's skin on this side. I had to make some pinks and oranges. It took me a little while to get the perfect shade, but in the end, it looks so beautiful. Did the same thing for the SpongeBob side. I added highlights and shadows, which really helped my artwork to pop recently. So I'm, I've been getting into doing that. Just adding a simple little shadow can do so much for your artwork. Also, follow my TikTok. I recently blew up on there. I guess I got a million views, which is so crazy. And that motivated me to start posting more on YouTube. So let's see if I can blow this up too, right? And uh, for the swooshes, they were all black and... I didn't like that, so I thought, hmm, what can I add to it? I added mint. I would add white before or gray, but it didn't really need it because the mint was so strong, stronger than I expected. You can see the little thing on the midsole. I'm going to clean that off with my acetone in the end. So I did the same thing for the Patrick side. I added mint to the black swoosh. You can see even how pretty the dots are behind it. And I purposely did that with the stars, the star things. <laughs> I like made them transparent-ish. I didn't really do more than one layer. I just added water to some layers just to get it how I really wanted it. That perfect ideal little transparent look. Now it wasn't until after I peeled my tape that I remembered that red was still under here. So I went in with my Angelus 1 to 1 ratio with the two soft and I just did a few layers over this. It took a little while to cover it, like three to four or maybe even five layers and eventually got covered i did the same thing for the outlines of the tongues on both i then went in and touched up the jump mans but unfortunately i did not record that because i was using a toothpick and i was just laying down somewhere but yeah this took me same amount of layers maybe a little less because it was kind of a harder material and then finally the sealer liquid kicks matte finish i just put in my airbrush and it was good to go all right so these turned out surprisingly well Remember the mock-up I showed y'all? Like, tell me this doesn't look like it. And I just, like, freestyled the rest. You know this. Just downloaded pictures as I went along. And, you know. I feel like I did really good on these. But the link to everything I use should be in the comments. If not, just ask me. I mean, in the bio. If not, just ask me in the comments, though. Because I didn't really, like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't like the mouth after, but, you know. It's whatever. But the front is really, really nice. And I like this side, too. And then I did a little blend in here. Y'all can see in the video. So, yeah. I feel like I did really good on these. I got to say it again. So, if you like these shoes and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like in the comments, you know. I just said leave a like in the comments. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I mean, leave a like, comment below anything, like, good or bad. I don't really care. I really enjoy it. The feedback from y'all you know what i'm saying and subscribe all that you know I don't, i'm not gonna say turn on my notifications if you don't want to but i would appreciate it but yeah thank you for watching my video it's plenty more to come i promise you and screw paints a lot and i'm out
So I did go outside to get you these beautiful shots in the snow while it was cold. So I think I deserve a like, a follow, and a subscribe just for that alone. But thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.